So this is the infamous sport of paddle. Born in the 70s in Mexico, it slowly made its way across the globe. But it wasn't really until COVID hit that it went viral, you could say. A socially distanced racket sport that 30 million people have taken up playing. And this is why. Paddle's, paddle's well known for being easy to play but hard to master. Between squash and tennis, fun, accessible, um, and two against two, so quite social as well. E easy to start. Um, very social uh, and highly addictive. Everyone can play it, actually everyone. For those who are a bit traumatised with tennis and the <laughs> overhead serve, uh, there is no overhead serve. I suppose it's all about having a game, right? At the end of the day, if you can't have a game, then it, you're going to get frustrated and you're not going to play it. That's sort of where paddle really gets addictive. Everyone will be playing it in five years' time, no doubt. So it's addictive. And you play in pairs. So besties, couples, this is a sport for you. Yeah, we, we enjoy going out and playing tennis together and so doing paddle as well is, is, is a fun thing for us to do. Wait, is it paddle? Paddle, apparently, yeah. What? Paddle. Paddle, that's, uh, that's how we say it. It's paddle, but we all say paddle. I mean, it's easier, but it is paddle. Pedal it is. So Kevin and Diego here are the ones who have broken ground and brought in the first of hopefully many courts here to New Zealand. You're obviously not from New Zealand, so at France, I'm assuming. Yes. Yeah. I guess all your sort of friends and family are kind of like laughing at the fact that we are so slow to pick this sport up. They're shocked. They're shocked. <laughs> yeah. they, they tell me that I've got the best business in New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> I came to New Zealand six years ago, tried to find a paddle place. I couldn't find anything. So then COVID hit mm -hmm. and it was time for me to step up and say, OK, I'm going to create it. Like, I'm going to bring the first court. Come and play and you will see. I give you 15 minutes to be convinced. Yeah. You don't have to convince me. I, I gotta go. 38 weeks pregnant. What could go wrong?